going through JavaScript algorithms and data structures, and we are going to be going through basic JavaScript on challenge 20 of 113. And we're going to find a remainder in JavaScript. So let's find the remainder. So the remain the remainder operator percent sign, um, also known as modulus, uh, gives the remainder. Right. Okay. So five modulus two equals one because five divided by two would give a remainder of one. So two times two is four. Five minus four is one. So one's the remainder. So in mathematics, a number can be checked to be odd or even uh, with the remainder of the division of the number by two. So seventeen modulus two equals one. Thusly, it's odd. 48 modulus 2 equals 0, thusly it's even. So that's that's really the main use case for modulus in programming, is determining if something is odd or even. Uh, obviously there are cases where you would use it to determine the actual remainder, but most of the time it's just to determine is this an odd number or an even number. So we're going to set the remainder equal to the remainder of 11 divided by 3 using the modulus operator. So remainder we have our constant, our variable. We're going to say that that is equal to 11. Modulus is our percent sign, 3. And that should give us a remainder. So let's say console.log remainder 2. There we go. So that's all we needed to do. This is a case where we actually are going to get the remainder, but say we had let odd or even, we could say random number modulus 2 and take odd or even. And in our logic, if it equals 0, it's even. If it's 1, it's odd. So there you go. That's really the most common use case I've used it in, but here we're just finding the remainder.